Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Pay, and today I'm going to be installing new firmware on my Ender 3 V2. Um, for a long time, I had been using Jayers UI as my firmware of choice, and today I thought I'd switch over and give uh, professional firmware um, a shot and see how that goes. And so I'll walk you through the steps I'm going to take to install the new firmware onto my printer. And so let's go ahead and get started. Before I mess with the motherboard and take off the case, I want to go over and turn off my printer and make sure I go ahead and unplug it so I don't want anything plugged in. The first step I need to take is to remove the printer case so I can take a look at the motherboard. In the case of Professional UI and actually any uh, of the uh, various firmware, there is two different boards that are possible in an Ender 3v2, a 4.22 board and a 4.27 board. Um, unfortunately, the last time I removed the board, I did not write down what board I had, so I can't remember. I think it's 4.22, but just be on the safe side. I'm going to remove the case and take a quick look at the board to be sure. Um, so I have the bed right here, and behind the bed back here is a screw that needs to be removed. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this screw first. And I'll be honest, the first time I updated the firmware on this machine, it took me 20 minutes to realize why the case wouldn't open. It was because of missing this screw. So I'm highlighting this screw to everybody. So my first step is I'm going to walk over to my printer and remove that screw. Okay. So I'm real quickly going to remove this screw. I got the screw and then I use these little uh, magnetic cups to hold all my screws while I'm working. Remove the printer and put it over on its side like so, so I can reach the motherboard. I want to make sure this is stable so I don't lose it off my table. So I've moved my camera around, and now I'm just going to remove these screws. Try not to drop them. And of course, there is still one more screw on the top. So I removed the screws from the bottom and then I, again, forgot there's another screw on the top right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Got the screw out and tilt my printer back over. I want to be careful because there's there is a still a fan attached. Okay, so once I have the case open, I want to look at the board and right above where the steppers are plugged in, it says the word Creality, and under that it'll give the version number. And my version number is 4.22. So that's good. I have that now. And so I'm going to put the case back on and then download the correct firmware. Now I have the case back on since I know which board I have. I'm going to sit here and there's a, a serial number sticker on my um, printer. So I'm just going to write on there. 
MP 4.22 so that way I remember in the future and that way I don't have to pop open the case again if I don't have to. So I now know which firmware I need and let me go through the steps with this. With the Ender 3, the update's going to be a, basically a two step process. I'm going to need to update the firmware on the printer motherboard and then I'm also going to update the UI on the display screen. So to start, let me start with updating the main motherboard. From the main page of uh, the professional firmware web uh, GitHub repository, I'm just going to look on the right hand side for releases. I'm going to go ahead and click on release so I have the latest release which looks like it was from March 14th, 2022. I'm going to scroll down scrolling down and here's the different versions. So in this middle number here is the motherboard. So I'm interested in one of these two. In my case I have a BL Touch clone installed. So I'm going to go ahead and download this bin file. And I'm going to save the bin file there. Also while I'm here, go back over to the main site. And on the install instructions, I'm going to scroll down, and here's a link to the display. Now it looks like I'll have to pop the I'm going to have to pop the display off anyway to to update the firmware. But it looks like there's two different flavors of uh, displays. So when I open up, let me update the, the main motherboard and then we'll work on the display. Now, I'm updating from a Mac. Um, probably most users can be using a Windows machine, but it, the process is the same. So I'm going to navigate over to my downloads folder and the location where I downloaded the bin file. I'm going to copy the bin and then paste it onto my SD card. So my SD so I paste this on my root directory of my SD card. Now I'm going to eject it and move it over to the printer. So I'm taking the SD card, putting it into the machine, and I need to remember to plug my machine back in. I'm going to go ahead and plug the machine in. It's plugged in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the machine on. The, machine, the screen should stay blank. For several seconds while it's updating. So now the firmware has been installed. What I'm going to do is go ahead and flip the machine off, unplug it, and I'm going to remove the screen. So removing the screen is real easy. I'm just going to push the screen up and then unplug this cord. And then let me move over to my desk. Now what I'm going to do is open up the case on the screen. And that way I can check what type of screen I have to make sure that I'm putting on updating the to the right UI. So I want to look at what type of screen this is. Okay, so looking at my, my board on my display and then I can compare that over here with this picture and I'm using the uh, Ender 3V2 the original display the DWIN display so now I need to download the DWIN folder 
and put that on my SD card. So let me go through those steps for you. Okay, so looking at the professional firmware uh, website for display, there's two, two versions. There's the stock display firmware, and then I guess it's the second one. The second one here, and I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce this because I'll butcher it. Uh, looks pretty colorful. I think I like the colorful one, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to click on there, and then uh, there's... I'm interested in the DWIN uh, screen unit, so I'm going to click here and download the DWIN set. And I have my SD card already plugged in my machine again. I'm going to download it. Oh, I saw it's a zip file. So I'm going to switch over. my SD card and there's the firmware I just installed so I'm going to move that to the trash and I'm going to extract this DWIN set and I'm also going to go ahead and delete this zip file so all I should need to do is just have this in the base directory here I'm going to go ahead and eject the card and then I'm going to take the card and put it into this SD slot here. So I have that in that SD slot. Then I'm going to go over to my, leave the back off, plug my printer in, and boot it up. And let's see what she does. Okay, first step, I'm going to plug display cord back in. So this right here so you can see it and let me plug the machine in again and turn on the power now this should have the blue screen that's correct okay now you can't see it very well but the screen has turned uh, over to orange so it's turned from blue to orange and once it turns to orange I'm good to go. So I'm going to turn the printer off. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it again. Unplug the display. And now I'm going to come back over to my desk and put the, take out the SD card and put the backpack on. I'll press the case in so it snaps in. That's good. Let me put these screws back in. Okay, so everything's screwed back in. Let me put the knob back on. The knob's on. And let me switch back over to the printer. So again, we're going to go ahead and hook the display in. Then slide this display back in place. Let me move the camera and see if I can give you a better view of the screen. Okay, so I plugged the machine back in, and now I'm going to turn it on and make sure everything looks correct. And the icons all look good. So, excellent. Now, so I have everything installed. And now there's a couple other steps I just want to show you real quick um, to help you along your way. Now the firmware is totally installed. And now I have to configure my printer more. Uh, but the, the one more quick step I want to show you. If you go to control on the printer, you want to go down and reset the printer. You want to do that so that way uh, 
none of the, the old settings are still in the firmware. And so now, since I have everything installed, I'm just going to go through the process of configuring my printer and getting uh, all the vaults set up to the PID tuning and all that. So that's the process for updating to the um, professional the professional uh, Ender 3v2 firmware. Um, I want to give it a shot and then uh, hopefully um, I'm looking forward to using it. Um, it's something new to try. I want to thank everybody for their time today. Again, this is Mike from Minimal 3VP. And thank you for joining me. If you um, found the video helpful, please give me a like. And feel free to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good day. Bye.